the exchange rate of the US dollar against the Iraqi dinar rose in Baghdad markets on Thursday, while it remained stable and herbal in the Kurdistan region. The dollar prices witnessed a rise with the opening of the two main stock exchanges, Al Kifa and Al Harithiya, in Baghdad, to record 153,000 dinars for every $100, while yesterday, Wednesday, it recorded 152,600 dinars for every $100. Selling prices rose in exchange shops in local markets in Baghdad, where the selling price reached 154,000 dinars, while the purchase price reached 152,000 dinars for every $100. In Erbil, the dollar recorded stability in exchange shops where the selling price reached 153,100 dinars per dollar, and the buying price reached 153,000 dinars per $100. Oil prices edged higher on Thursday from two-week lows, with investors eyeing developments in the Middle East and more details on China's stimulus plans, as well as awaiting the release of official U.S. oil inventory data. Brent crude futures rose 17 cents, or 0.2%, to 74.39 a barrel by 408 GMT, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate crude futures were at 70.58 a barrel, up 19 cents, or 0.3%. Both benchmarks settled down on Wednesday, closing at their lowest levels since October 2 for a second day in a row. The benchmarks are down 6 to 7 percent so far this week after the organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC and the International Energy Agency cut demand forecasts for 2024 and 2025. Prices have also fallen as risk premiums have cooled with fears having eased that a retaliatory attack by Israel on Iran could disrupt oil supplies, though uncertainty remains over conflict in the Middle East. We are now playing a waiting game for two things. Firstly the China NPC National People's Congress Standing Committee to flesh out the details and the size of the fiscal stimulus package which I believe is coming, Tony Sycamore, IG market analyst in Sydney, said. Investors are waiting for further details from Beijing on its broad plans announced on October 12 to revive its ailing economy. China said on Thursday it would expand a white list of housing projects eligible for financing and increase bank lending for such developments to 4 trillion yuan 562 billion as it aims to shore up its ailing property market. Sycamore said Israel's response to Iran's recent attack was the second major focus for the market. It's coming, we know that but we don't know when, he said adding that both factors created upside risks for crude oil prices. In Iran, the authorities are working to control an oil spill off Karg Island, the country's IRNA news agency reported on Wednesday. It appears to be unrelated to the Israel-Hamas war, but it drew attention to Iran's oil export facilities, ANS analysts said in a note. In the U.S. crude oil and fuel stocks fell last week. Market sources said, citing American Petroleum Institute figures on Wednesday, against expectations of a buildup in crude stockpiles, crude stocks fell by 1.58 million barrels in the week ended October 11, the sources said on condition of anonymity. Gasoline inventories fell by 5.93 million barrels, and distillate stocks fell by 2.67 million barrels, they said. Ten analysts polled by Reuters had estimated on average that crude inventories rose by about 1.8 million barrels in the week to October 11. Any signs of weak demand in EIAS weekly inventory report could put further downward pressure on oil prices, ANS analysts said. The Energy Information Administration, the statistical arm of the U.S. Department of Energy, will release its data at 11 a.m. EDT 1500 hours o'clock GMT on Thursday. Also supporting oil prices, the European Central Bank is likely to lower interest rates again on Thursday, the first back-to-back -back rate cut in 13 years, as it shifts focus from cooling inflation in the eurozone to protecting economic growth.